Um, there's definitely been some water seepage into this motor. Oh, that kind of makes me want to throw up. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dude. Well, I just got done with my uh, work shift, I guess you could call it. And uh, Greg's already out here wrenching on the boat. So it's time to see what we can get done with this thing. It's an awesome day, so take advantage of it. Got a lot to update you on. We'll explain that here in a little bit. But uh, making some progress. Greg's confusing himself, but you know, that's part of it. So yeah. All right, gonna give you a little bit of an update. We pulled the starter off. Starter was really, really bad. Um, and then Greg has already got the new starter on, but we're still having like a clicking issue when we try to start it with the key, um, which is, let's figure it out. We got a bit of wiring to do. He's actually working on Replacing the, what is that called? It's a circuit breaker. Circuit breaker, yeah. Master circuit breaker. Master circuit breaker. Um, we got a new alternator for it. And that's actually already on, look at that. Oh, easy enough. And he just sent me a video. That's water out of the oil pan. So it's at the bottom of the oil pan. And uh, hopefully that means that the oil was a barrier for it. There's some uh, rust chunks in there, but not metal, so that's good. So we're just trying to see what we can do to get it to spin over and check the electronics and stuff. We're not close to starting it yet. We still got a decent amount of stuff to do. So I'm going to get Greg to finish up putting this um, circuit breaker on and test some things out. Sometimes we just wind up making a handy dandy bracket uh, some really thin sheet metal to replace the one that doesn't work anymore for the uh, circuit breaker. So that's what I did. I just went to my vise and a drill, a little Dremel tool, made this bracket. It's going to bolt down here to hold the new circuit breaker in place. And it should work, but before I do that, I gotta drill out these power leads because they're not big enough for the new circuit breaker. So I'll drill out this one and this one. And then Greg is working on getting everything put back together for the thermostat. Yeah, it's a little bit different. It is different. So it's... It's got like an O-ring in here? Yeah, it's got an O-ring and then you put this in there. face down on top of the O-ring. Okay. And then there's the sleeve. And that That's, sleeve spaces it out, I guess? Or nah, something? it keeps it in place up high. And here, you know, it's keyed. So it, it, there's a key oh, here okay. and there's a key right here. So it probably Keyway. lets some water through. Yeah, so what it does, you know, and then you put it in because here... Because there's no reservoir, right? Cause he, no, here it's chambered. Oh, okay. So here it allows the thermostat to stay down, but then also... It allows some flow. Yeah, you see how there's these two holes. So mm. it allows the flow between nice. the two like that. All what right. the purpose is, I don't fully understand, but, but that's how you do it. Okay. Well, we don't have to understand these things. We just got to put them back together. So that's what we're going to do. 
making progress going good going good okay new uh new circuit breaker on we're gonna flip it so, that, so that's a reset yep so when it breaks it'll do that and then yeah, you just it'll reset pop it. and you reset it all right you got some good ingenuity mm-hmm my little it's good enough impromptu for bracket, bracket but it works so it's good enough for government work let's um let's hook this sucker up no sparks that's a good thing you want to try the starter again yeah go ahead or i can do it i'm okay i'm just wondering if that may have fixed anything nope oh that's try. a good thing hmm I like that. Now it's back to which solenoid? I can is see this is moving, so that's good. Which solenoid is ticking? Because there's that one, and then there's something on the side. Try it again. So that's this solenoid. That's doing what it's supposed to do. And then what are you saying? There's something on what? Oh, I thought there was something on the side. No. Hit it again. I'm hit it. I'm feeling it go through the breaker, which is good. Um, Reset the breaker. Reset it. I'm just curious. Try it. Let's do anything right now. Yeah, okay. Nothing. Turn it off. Hmm. What's the solenoid's bad? It could, definitely could be. Uh. Do you have an extra one? <laughs> do I have an extra no. one? No, I don't. I wonder if we can jumper it and see what happens. Jumper. I uh, jump the starter. Yeah. Go for it. So we got to a stopping point the other night. We got a decent amount done, but we realized we needed more parts. We're to the point now where we have parts. So we're hoping that today we're gonna get a lot of progress done on the boat. Perhaps maybe even hear it run for a little bit. That's the goal. Um, but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make some battery cables because we actually did try to replace the starter. And that old starter definitely is bad, but we thought maybe the new one was bad too. But when we hooked it up to the battery charger to test the starter, it worked. So that means that those cables are probably junk. They're sucking way too much amperage down and uh, that's just not gonna work. So we've got new battery cables, but we have to make them. So let me show you what we're working with. Greg's already got the, the positive one out. We actually went to the Marine store and I've used to make battery cables before but not in this way so this is going to be kind of cool so these are the terminals for the ground and the uh, po uh, positive terminal and these are little solder plugs yeah. and they go inside we're going to heat up with the torch and then stick the the uh, yeah we got to strip you know strip it and then you know, stick the hose in there like and then them out like that heat treat heat it up till it's a pool and then you just put it in and hold yep. it and until it cools and there you go and then you put the well, well you got to put the heat shrink on first yeah actually. yeah and, then, and I like, have like, after that so. then we put it on and then we do the heat shrink and this is not just solder it's actually got flux in the middle of it too so this will be waterproof these are cool damn like, good cool. connection and yeah he said it you know the guy said it, it's a better connection than if you were to crimp them so we're gonna get started with all that don't really have whatever works a wire stripper that's gonna work work that looks good. hallelujah check that out that worked out that's, that's <laughs> that actually cool. worked really really well all right cool okay so wire crimped and yeah we just plug. put that plug in there and now we're gonna maybe why it's expensive can you tap the screen for me Go for it. Oh, hold on, keep it, keep it again. All right. Cool. 
We can snip that one stray wire. Yeah, that worked pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. All right, final product. Looks pretty darn good. Actually turned out great. Now I just gotta do it three more, four more times, something like that. Yeah. Yep. New cables, y'all. All professional looking, too. So we got those made, but check this out. We uh, cut into the old one just to see if it was really bad, and it's full of just corrosion and things falling apart. It's all black. This is the battery side, obviously, so I think that's our issue because this is the starter side, which isn't so bad. That's oh, that's that's nasty. That's right. Very nasty. Oh, yeah, look at that. Right on. Look at that. Okay. All right. Now we gotta put these on and start getting after it. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a long day. Long All right. Starters on. Battery cables are on. We're gonna try to start it with the key. And all we're doing is testing the starter. The trucks. I mean, the boat's not gonna start yet. We're just trying to see if we got everything worked out. We also got the solenoid on. So. Uh, hold on, let me, before we do that, let's, what do we do? Uh, socket. I, I, I just want to tighten these, because oh. I hand tighten these. Okay. All right, we're good. Here we go. Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, do I not have it pulled on? Hang on. That might be me. That might be me. That might be me. No, that's probably good. I still wonder if it's that. Well, yeah, we're, I'm gonna have to do some. all this on there. All right, let's one, two, three. Yeah, that's all there. All right, so let's see if we can jump right. Yes! 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 So something with the yes! wiring or something yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I'll figure that we'll out. figure that way. out. Let me see if, what's going on there. But, okay, we're on to something. It cranked though, right? We put something on here and it works. Yeah. So, so we're in the right direction. Hold on, I'll do it again. I just want to see it spin. You just want to validate it? Yeah. Right. Make sure it's not just spinning before so hitting the floor. Right. This way. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Sorry, so my butt crack. Butt crack. Ready? Yep. I just felt the yep. cylinder push air out. Yep. Hallelujah! We're on to something. Okay, so I'm wire troubleshooting. I'm gonna take y'all under the dash. This is the wire that's supposed to go to the power on the ignition switch right here. It's not getting good amperage anymore. Don't know why. So I tapped into the board here, this little switch panel, and I put a fuse in, and I think that's gonna rectify our problem. And uh, so it's ran to the ignition switch here and we're about to test and we do have oil in the motor now So are we hooked up? Yeah, we're all hooked up. Here goes nothing Woohoo! All right, we're gonna swing we're gonna spin this over a while see if we get any oil pressure Uh, Where is the oil pressure? I don't know if it's working, but I'll watch it Uh, number three's lifters aren't moving. At all? At all. That's not good. I don't know why they would be stuck up like that. Oh, the valves are stuck. Okay, we need to pull the rockers off. Yeah. 
Um, oh, the valves are just stuck down? Valves are stuck down. Because you can see they're compressed. So, that means there's gunk on those, and we're going to have to try to get them to come back. Um, yeah, because look, here's Rudy the camera. Here's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. About. Yeah, they're compressed down. I see them. Yeah, now. so both of these valves are compressed. These are not. The rest of them look good. This was a cylinder that was open when it was put up. Or, you know, not done anything for 18 years. And these valves are stuck open. They're not going back. No. So, I gotta be honest, I know we can get, we can hit a hammer on them and maybe get them to come back, but I don't know that whole process. So, I would like to research that process. So, that's what we'll do. That's what we're gonna do. Nothing comes easy. <laughs> and I mean nothing. But let me show you what we got going on. Turns, come to find out, the valve springs are okay. It's the lifters that are stuck in the bore. So Greg is going to be spraying a hole is, PB uh, blaster inside the uh, push rod. In, it's going to go down into the lifter. And uh, we're going to see if that sits for a while and it will help get rid of this rust. We're going to do it on both of these and then come back and try to tap it with a dead blow hammer and see if it frees up the lifter. So this is just now. We're going to do it later on tonight. Maybe again in the morning and about noon tomorrow. We're going to see if it unsticks. I want to thank Nick for giving us this idea because it sounds like he's done it before and it, it may work and uh, I was stuck so thanks Nick appreciate it next day we let the lifters soak in PB blaster overnight uh, I sprayed it again this morning and then I did some things and it came back and uh, now we're gonna try to see if we can get it free and I'm going to do that with a couple used uh, push rods from my LS motor um, so we don't mess up the good ones here. And we're just going to kind of tap on it with a hammer, uh, with a dead blow, which is rubber hammer. So I'm going to see if I can't get them to move and uh, we'll see what happens. So wish me luck. It's not going to, oh, I, I, yeah, it will. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's, I thought we were going to. And now we're just going to tap it. You ready? Uh, yeah. Going, I think. No, maybe not. Oh, that looks like it went some. Ready? Yeah. Oh, it moved big time. I think the socket. Oh, the socket got stuck yeah. on it. <laughs> okay, that's why. That's why. Oh, dude, they moved. That went down. Yeah, let's rotate and watch them. Second. This one for sure went down. Oh, oh, that one's moving. That one moved. Yup, that one went up. Go on. Oh, oh. Let's see if it gets stuck again though. Which it might. Did it? Yeah. They both did, I think. So let's tap them back down. I just do that a few times. Up, down, up, down. Nice. Dude, this is gonna work. Alright. We have success. So I'm gonna ro rock this motor over some. Yep. You can see them move a little bit. There yep, you go. There goes that one. That one's moving freely. And then that one moves freely. And now Greg can push them down with his hands. Yep. yep. Oh, let oh, me move a little bit. A little bit more. Go ahead. A little bit more, yep. a little bit more leverage. Yep. yep. So we're gonna put the springs on them. Rotate on. it over and uh, see what we got done. So, well, I'm gonna take this side off too. Yeah, this cover off on yeah. this side just so we could watch everything, make sure oil's going through all of it. 100% agree. Ah, 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 dude, this ah, thing just seems ah, to run, dude. Ah, this ah, is the secret. Yep, take it out of there take and it comes out. right out. Both valve covers come out very easy. easily. Do 
you gotta pull this bolt out is the oh. oil pressure there. All right, you ready? Yeah, oil pressure. Did you hear that? Did, <laughs> I hear it. Pouring. Did you hear the alarm? Yeah. The alarm just went off. That's awesome. Yeah, so we got like 35 pounds of oil pressure. I'm gonna do it, show it over here. See if you can watch that gauge right there. You want me to go some more? It's fixed itself. I think pushing it. You ready? Fantastic. All right, so we're back in the fort, also known as the boat. Uh, and uh, it's time to just get ready to test fire. So cap and rotor, plugs and wires, a little bit of fuel, and we're gonna see what happens. So let's get after it. All right, I'm gonna fill the bowl up with gas and we're gonna try to start it. So here goes nothing. Let's uh, go ahead and get ready and- uh, Crank it? Yeah. Battery I'll tell you what, you know, boat battery is hooked up. Either I'm gonna get my head out of the way. Uh, go ahead. to start. Sounded like it wanted to. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh shit, it's uh what's going on? Fuel's spilling. Oh, it's probably going out. Oh, it's going out. Out and then down into the... Take two. Yeah, the switch there. Go ahead. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't... Something's locked up. I don't have throttle anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you to kill it, just kill it. Get it to beep first. Yep. Oh. oh, hang on. I just I don't want to blow up in my face. Yeah. All right, let's go. Cool. Go ahead. Oh, look at that. We had some. Oh, awesome. Yep. Go ahead. Alright, hang on. Let me hit it with this. Alright, go ahead. It wants to go. We need some more fuel. Okay. Take three. See what we can do here. Hang on. Right. There's going to be all kinds of stuff on the cylinders being in it. All the Marvel mystery and everything else. Yeah. 
Yeah. See if we can get it run just a little bit more. Watch that old pressure. Yeah. Yep. Ready? Yep. Go for it. Cool. Oh yeah. It's wanting to fire now. Mm-hmm. It runs. It runs. It runs. All right. Sweet. All right. It doesn't run fantastic, but I'm it hoping runs. we can get the lifters pumped up. Guys, that's where we're going to leave you off of today. But you saw it. We still have a lot to do. A lot to do. But uh, that's fantastic. So it runs. You saw it. Uh, we've got it running a couple more times. We're still kind of troubleshooting and going after some issues. We've got an issue with the fuel pump switch. There's an oil pump switch actually that tells the fuel pump to turn on. It's not giving the fuel pump enough amperage, so it's not really turning on. So we got that to work. And then when we get, did get that to work, we found out the float stuck in the carburetor. So we're just going to rebuild the carburetor. We're going to, what else are we going to do? Oil pressure switch, rebuild the carb. There was something else. Anyway, we'll, we'll figure out what that else was. We do got a uh, oil pressure switch, rebuild the carb, and then oh, the lifters have to pump up, and then we're gonna have to readjust the valves yeah, because, yeah, yeah it's kind of popping it. and banging, and it's probably gonna do that for a little while until we get those valves back adjusted right. I have a feeling we're gonna have to adjust all the valves because again, they those lifters are all the way uh, dry. They seem to be not pumping up yet, but that's just a little bit to go and uh hopefully next video it'll be running really good and uh we're gonna start working on the interior so as always thanks for coming along go check out our website restyourxgarage.com we got some stuff up there might as well check it out and uh if you're not uh subscribed yet do so and uh, until next time you know the deal y'all be good